Hi, it's Yvonne. It's time for Thrifting for Resale, the haul video. This is where I take a deeper look at the things that I bought on my last few trips to the Goodwill or the art thrift stores, the garage sales, estate sales. Um, I do Thrift With Me, live at the thrift store videos. I do Thrifting for Resale, the haul videos. I do um, What Sold, What Sold on Poshmark, eBay, whatever. And then I do like, um, you know, tips and tricks for reselling and maybe some panel shows, some discussion shows. I do those variety types because I like all of those. And some people like this, some people don't like that. Um, on the Thrift With Me Live at the Thrift Store videos, I try to go as slow as possible so we don't get dizzy. <laughs> but anyways, again, I like watching all those types. So that's what I do. So this is where we're going to look at these items more closely at if you went thrift with me, you will recognize some of these items. And then there's some extras that maybe you didn't see. And of course, I typically do clothing by myself because it's just not as fascinating just watching me flip through hangers. So I'll show you the clothing too at the end. I make about half my money with clothing. It used to be mostly clothing, but I've been taking um, a deeper dive into vintage and just expanding my hard goods again so i kind of backed off because shipping was just like such a i don't know i've already said this shipping was just like all these extra supplies that you have to have and but it's really not that big of a deal oh my gosh i'm a professional reseller come on get over it but so i'm really having a good time and now it seems like hard goods and clothing are like 50 50 as far as sales so I'm having a good time too, learning some things that I really normally just kind of overlook. It wasn't really my groove. Um, all right, let's go. Let's get started. All right, let's start with this. So this is a modern canister. Um, it makes me think of Ikea, but I liked it with the, I called it FEMA. If you watch Thrift with me, it's called FEMO, that clay polymer that people would make like, um, jewelry out of and oh they make like incense burners and whatever decorate things and i this company must be new or they just do a lot of random giftware because there's not a lot of it for sale but i liked the color and this applique and i can't tell so if it comes like that or if someone just decorated but it's really cute well made again it makes me think of ikea it's $2.49, so I'll, I might put it up for sale. I'm going to let my daughter look at it first. It's pretty well made. The lid has, you know, the plastic liner around it. So, again, this stuff is called uh, FIMO, F-I-M-O, um, that clay polymer stuff that you can buy and, and make things out of. So, the value on this is probably not a lot, unless someone just really liked that. Um, maybe you might could wait for the right person and get about $20, but probably my daughter will take this. But there's about that. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of exciting. I found my first fairy lamp. Oh my gosh. It was stuck together with wax. And so I cleaned it up. I've seen these kind of things before, before I did my deeper dive into vintage. I've seen these kind of things and I thought, well, what are they like something's missing <laughs> so i never paid much attention to them um but recently i've learned that these are called fairy lamps so this was a dollar 59. is that going to show up i don't know trust me a dollar 59 and i found this this is a viking glass fairy lamp um uh, supposedly blue and green are more desirable and i think i believe that because i believe in glass in general those those colors like certain colors are harder to make or the ingredients to make them are more rare and so i think in that kind of hierarchy um blue and green are better red and then amber's at the bottom i'm still learning about that okay my family i have family members that are into glass but they're more into stained glass and um, fused glass the only thing about vintage glass that they did is um, church restorations and so that's where they made the big money church restorations and repainting um, 
painted glass that was historical. Like my mom did um, a restoration on the Basilica in Denver when the Pope was coming around. Oh my gosh, what was that? 20 some years ago? But yeah, she did that. So that's kind of my background with glass. And I do love glass. I do love color. But more vintagey and frilly glass, I'm not so good at. So, anyways, enough about that. I think this is worth about $15, $20, but I don't have one. This is my first one. So, um, sentimentality, I'm going to keep it uh, for myself. And I, now I know to kind of, you know, what they are. <laughs> Again, I always thought, well, something's missing. Why is this for sale? Okay. Um, this is vintage to Highland. Nice little clean design, right? Pretty color. Let's get this turned around so you can see. It's backward. Um, some of their items are worth more, of course, so I'm not quite sure where this one's going to come in at or the exact um, time frame. So, forgive me, I'm still learning on some of this stuff. You guys are just taking this trip with me. Help me out if you can. I appreciate it. It's pretty though. Nice color. Nice clean um, design. Highland USA again. Some of their stuff had good resale value. So, it was $3, I believe. So, we'll try that. As a reseller, part-time reseller, so I have time and you know i don't have to make a full-time living so i have time to have fun with this and that's the way i like it and that's the way i hope to always get to keep it so when it comes to some items i have like a reseller bolo bucket list and um you know i like to check things off even though maybe they weren't like a big money maker um a lot of us are like that at least a lot of my reseller friends are uh, so as I'm learning something new, I've got some things I need to check off my list, right? And so a Viking fairy lamp is one of them. Again, resale value $15 to $20 for this one. Just so you know. Okay, where are we? A little ashtray, or you can use it for a trivet dish or whatever. It says, good luck. There's a horse in it. There's a dollar something really cute there's a couple already for sale on ebay so i really like this that's cute i'll add that to the queue on ebay it's probably only ten dollars breaking my twenty dollar rule i know but it goes back to what i just said earlier and then also plus sometimes you sometimes i feel like it's good just to have things to keep your store moving at a good price right um I'll, I'll quote Lindy, a happy, an active store is a happy store, okay? And so we all know that about eBay. It kind of makes us feel like the algorithm is rewarding us. We don't really know. But if somebody sees something, loosely I'll say like a lost leader, like they do in retail. That's a, using that term very generously. <clears throat> but, you know, however, also I'm okay to have some lower priced items in my store. For instance, I will use my quota of um, auctions because I don't typically do auctions I'll use my quota of free auction listings to run through clearance items like five and ten dollars and you know that perhaps they look around your store some more right okay so there's that these are adorable I, I like to look at the salt and pepper shakers especially since I'm on the lookout for the matching little black panther one since i found one last time she is downstairs with a mama panther a hager mama panther on my ledge i've got several of those my husband has the best one at his job he took that to work with him and it's on his shelf anyways these are adorable there's quite a few on ebay they're adorable crocodile or alligator i haven't verified which yet this is by a gift corp made in japan I mean, sorry, <laughs> I wish. Made in China, $1.59 a piece. Like I said, um, maybe these are worth $15. And if not, I might send these to Graveyard Girl, Bunny Graveyard Girl, because I am a Swamp Family member. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's a wild and crazy girl. So a uh, famous, pretty famous YouTuber for years and years. So might send that to her because she gets a lot of fan mail and i've always wanted to find something interesting to send to her these might be it we'll see i haven't decided 
Some people are helping me with this on the thrift with me video. The, some of the people that watch that video, they're helping me with this. Um, someone said maybe refrigerator glass, depression glass. Um, the color is like a peachy orange. It's footed refrigerator glass. Something that came with refrigerators or like, I don't know. I got to look. That's new to me. I'm going to figure, I'm going to research that. I've got that term in my head and I'm going to research it. Every evening I get out my phone, I'm laying down, everybody's quiet, everybody's asleep, it's some me time, turn on Netflix while I'm waiting. I'll spend about an hour kind of going through social media, doing some research on things, looking at eBay solds. I've got quite a few stores bookmarked on eBay and I'll go look at their solds and kind of see what's going on and just teach myself a few things. So. I'll probably do that tonight, refrigerator glass. Anyways, and then someone today said, this is probably an Australian liar bird, L-Y-R-E. And I looked at pictures, and I think she's right. Anyways, <laughs> probably not worth much so far without doing my own research. I It's been suggested to me maybe $25. We'll have to get back... Um, I'll have to get back to you on this or whenever I figure it out and list it, it'll show up on my eBay store and you can see what I said about it there. Or if you know something, let us all know. Educate me. It's 3D relief too. So, what was that? $3.99. All right, let's stick with the birds. So my first Sirocco piece, S-Y-R-O-C-O. -O. Let me bring it in for you. Okay, this is, I think what this would be called is like Hollywood Regency. Um, it's just a gilded, some kind of resin or plastic. On eBay and Etsy, I noticed, and Worth Point, I noticed that these come in a pair. There's a matching one. And with the pair, I've seen them sell from $25 to $50, depending on condition and luck, maybe. So, all by its lonesome, no chips at all, all by its lonesome, I'm going to say maybe 15, 20. Cute though, huh? Some kind of pheasant or peacock. Sirocco. Um, they make a lot of products, and my research, research shows prices vary on the products. Okay, I think we're good on this. Okay, a blue... I don't know if this is cut glass or pressed. Can you press glass in a decanter? Still learning that. Again, my glass thing consists of stained glass from my family and kiln fused glass, modern, and then these paperweights that I collect. So this kind of stuff, I'm having to teach myself. Although I own a few decanters and I recently went back to look at the bottom of some of my decanters that I picked up because of the nice clean design and just beautiful glass color. And I've got some that are kind of worth, worth 50 to $60, but I'm keeping them. But this one that I will either sell or keep for myself. Can you, let me put this down. Look, oh, easy girl. It's really pretty, look, it's really pretty. And, um, beveled, and then this, like, indented ring. Forgive me on this. You're not going to learn much from me on some of this stuff, okay? Um, I'm, I'll sh I'm sharing as I learn. Clothing, I can really help someone out. This stuff is new. I'm just sharing the research as I learn it. So, I have to get back to you on this. If you know anything about it, let me know. No markings at all. Oh my gosh. Girl, no markings at all. A few air bubbles. I checked all of the bubbles because one of them was kind of big and I was like, wait, could that be a hidden maker's mark? <laughs> Still learning. Okay, sticking with glass. Glass paperweight. This was $2.49. This is one of those glow-in-the-dark jellyfish. Prices are all over the map. Makers are all over the map, according to what people say. 
I know I have a big version of this that does glow in the dark. My husband bought it for me at the big, gigantic Iowa truck stop when we were headed to Pennsylvania to visit his mom and dad. And um, I think he paid like $30 for it. And it's a dynasty gallery, which most of them are. They make a lot of gift shop type glass like this. So when some people say, act like it's something special, I'm not really sure where they're coming from. I could be wrong. So this one's probably only worth about $10 or $15. It does glow in the dark, just like my big one. I verified it. Uh, I may put it up for sale, but there's so many, or I may just do another mama baby set <laughs> because now I have, you know, the Panther mama baby. I've got, I found that little smiley face salt shaker. So I've got it downstairs next to a large um, smiley face um, mug with a lid. That's rare. These mugs, I actually have one that I found with a lid. Hardly anyone has one of those. So I may just do another mom and baby, uh, mother baby set, okay? But there it is. That's the information on that. The sticker's missing, but this is, I'm pretty sure this is just a dynasty gallery. Now, <clears throat> this one's a little different. Look how pretty this one is. I like this one. It's not too foo-foo-y. Some kind of like flower lily pattern. Now this one is stamped. This is a, um, oh my gosh, I already forgot. Oh yeah, now Joe St. Clair. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it is marked in there. Joe St. Clair. This one's beautiful. So this one has a little bit more value. I want to say maybe $25 for this one based on the size and the nice color color combination of it and that it is stamped by that maker but i'm going to add this one to my collection seriously this one's going into my collection just wanted to let you know about that though if you're learning like me okay another glass piece <laughs> this is probably modern there's no marks at all 2.99 there's no marks on it at all um but it's cute it's penguins or you could say puffin if for some reason somebody collects puffins. <laughs> I watch a lot of Planet Earth and I just recently watched um, one episode had about 15 minutes on puffins. They are quite interesting. This could qualify for a puffin. Those crazy birds, ducks, whatever, they can dive up to a minute underwater and catch fish. And then they have to fly back and try to share it with their family. And then they have other birds and like eagles and other birds will try to fight them to get what they just dove and caught because these birds can't dive like that. Oh, these are, they're tough little rascals. So penguin or a puffin, super cute, right? So I'm gonna say, I'm probably gonna put like 20, 25 on this because there's no chips and I'm just gonna wait for someone who collects glass or and or penguins or puffins. <laughs> I love that. But that one will be for sale. Okay, we did this. I've got some clothing and some vintage sheets. Look, a little mink hat. This is by Ambrose, New York. I paid $6. Ambrose, New York. I don't, it doesn't look like anyone wore this very much at all. There's like no hairs in there or anything. These are just little hair combs with, on an elastic. There's two of them. This is adorable. I'll find out the name of this style. Okay, I'll try to find out the name of that style. So cute. I don't know. A lot of factors go into pricing something like this. The type of fur, the shape, the age, the label, just like a lot of things. So if you already know offhand, drop it in the comments for all of us to learn. If not, it'll be probably a week or so before this gets listed after I do some research. You know what? I'm going to cut for a minute, put this up where it's safe, bring over a few clothing items. I'll be right back. As usual, you won't even know I was gone. Okay, I'm back. So I put that stuff up where it's safe. And now we'll look at some clothing. All right, let's start here. Um, just a polo shirt, but 
this is from some kind of club. It caught my attention because poker, because, you know, I'm a poker player. And this says 28th Annual Conference, the California Homicide Investigators Association. And so I was just going to get it for a gag just to wear around the house or maybe to a poker tournament. But when I looked it up, I was like, oh, that's kind of a thing. And they have some memorabilia that resells. So let me show you. So I will put it up for sale and see what happens. And if not, it's it's fine. Um, I'll wear it for something. It's kind of funny. Two ninety nine. Okay, this is a polo shirt. This type, in case you don't know. Okay, because I am picking up some new friends that are more into vintage because I joined some groups and they're not as familiar with clothing. So I'm going to throw in some details. This is vintage Wamsetta. New old stock, still packaged, but this is vintage. This is called, the pattern is called Dakota Lily Pond. I was lucky enough to find the twin fitted, the twin flat, and some pillowcases. So, Wham Sutta, some of the vintage stuff does well. I just sold a Wham Sutta, the, um, the rainbow sheet for $36. Not new in package, but it was still nice and crispy. And I think I told you that it was just seen recently again on Stranger Things, an episode of Stranger Things. It was on one of the little girl's beds in the background. <laughs> anyway, so this is nice and it's still new in package. $3.99, $3.99, $3.99. So I think I'm going to put this as $50. I think I'm going to try to start this out at $50 since it's new in package. It's kind of a camouflage desert looking with um like a lotus lily i don't know if you can see that it's really not a bad looking set but someone who likes vintage or is doing maybe a um vintage looking um air and b or what's that called bed and breakfast type thing they might want this or maybe for a tv show a lot of us have had some interesting encounters with selling some props to um, theatrical companies or, you know, TV shows, movies. Now, some more artsy legging look, patchwork, art to wear, mix match, contrast. What are some other keywords? Um, nothing matches. <laughs> this is by Vintage Boutique Country Wear. The top and the matching skirt, okay? So all of those keywords, festival, boho, all the keywords I just said, nothing matches, contrast, patchwork, boho, gypsy, renaissance, Scarborough Fair, that kind of stuff for these. This is probably $30, $40 set. Um, there's a, I'm going to pull out the other one because it has a better name that's more popular. Here it is. Spencer Alexis. Not my favorite color here, but it will still sell. It's peach blush. Now, this is kind of along the same lines. But the name is better. Okay? That's why I bought this, even though it's not as elaborate as the other one. The color is not as great, this peach blush, um, but the name is better. <laughs> so I hope you followed all that. Spencer Alexis, the labels vary, but that's the name. I always pick up, you'll find these um, like little jacket, little jackets with one little latch and they'll be layered and all artsy like, you know, like that other one I showed you. And they will sell pretty quick for 20 to $30. Pretty rare to find the matching skirt too. I wish this was more elaborate. If this was more elaborate, I'd say $50, $60. This is probably a $30 to $40 one, is my guess. Again, not to sell too low, not to be too high, okay? Spencer Alexis. If you don't know that, look it up and you'll see those little jackets that I'm talking about that typically is what we find. Little layered, they'll have one little button here, usually different colors, different color combinations. And those are pretty easy to find. So, uh, what did I pay for that? I'm sorry, y'all, $5.99. <laughs> this Goodwill's crazy. Sometimes it'll go in waves. Sometimes things will be crazy prices, and then I think either they 
decide to tackle a quota or they're overstocked. And so the new things coming out, they'll price for like five and six ninety nine. And that's when I try to be there to grab them up. Otherwise, things like that are usually $9.99 to $12.99. Also, I think I mentioned that my region of Goodwills was just merged with Denver's region. So there's changes coming. For one, they changed the jewelry jars. Like, I went in the first week and they were $24.99. Remember I showed a picture of... Like the whole case was full of jewelry bags for $24.99 and I just had to walk away. It was overwhelming. I'm like, oh my gosh, now's the time I should get one. Like they're not separating jewelry anymore. Well, I didn't buy one then. I just kind of posted it all over Instagram and Facebook and giggled and teased the jewelry girls with that beautiful picture to them, that jewelry porn picture. So I go in last week. It's just that whole section's gone now. And there's just one little case and there's no jewelry singled out anymore at all. And those jewelry bags were now $50. I was like, wait, what? I was just getting ready to buy one and start like really trying to do that. I watched some of the jewelry girls and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I missed the boat on that. But with that being said, I talked to a manager and he said, okay, with the changes with Denver, they're trying something new. This made sense too when I talked to him. This made sense. Since we have, like, someone has to come over, unlock the case, stand there. They can only show us one or two items at a time, right? And, like, we all have to wait our turn. So an employee or two employees will be standing there for hours and we may or may not buy something. Plus, some people are even intimidated. They don't even want to go through that process of having someone stare at them a foot and a half away while they look, at, try to look at everything and find something they like. Like, there's two problems with that scenario. So, they're going to try to solve it and be more efficient from their end, employee-wise. They're going to try to be more efficient. Sorry, I just dropped something and it was my St. John. They're going to try to be more efficient and just put everything in the jewelry bags. But that also means no more cherry picking, no more like pulling things out for e-commerce or for the auction or anything like that. So the quality of the bags might actually go up because previously a lot of people were going, this is just broken crap and baubles and I never find anything. Well, now they are literally just taking the jewelry and putting it in bags and weighing it. It's $5 a pound. So one pound, three pounds, and five pounds. $4.99, $14.99, dollars I hope I did all that right. Whatever, you get my drift. So he says the bags actually should be more interesting and more profitable. All right. Sorry about that. I dropped my St. John. Oh my gosh. Okay, so along the lines of what we were just talking about, here's another little artsy piece for the festival and artsy crowd. Little tie-dye, mock vest, another one for $6.99. And the reason I like this one is um, the harem pants that come with it. Can you see? These are like tulip-bottomed harem pants. So that makes that a winner for somebody. When the right person comes along, they're going to love this. I'll probably price this at about 40 or 45. I haven't decided. <laughs> I might pull off these buttons. If I have to lower the price, I'm pulling off these buttons for myself and I'll put on some cheaper buttons. Look at the buttons. They're like a real pretty abalone like shell. Okay, there. So <laughs> there's four of them. So I have to lower the price. I'm going to switch out those buttons and keep those buttons for myself. Right? <laughs> okay. Joseph Ribkoff, Canada. I buy some of that stuff. Some of it sells well. Some of it doesn't. I did have to put a couple pieces on clearance because I'm just like, okay, I give up on these. I think the size is too small. You know, small sizes sometimes are a little bit harder to sell. This one will be fine. I'm trying to get the label for you guys. Joseph Ribkoff. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I'm pretty sure I am. Label designs will vary, okay? Let it focus. Ribkoff. R-I-B-K-O-F-F. -F. This is good, though. This little black dress with the sheer mesh and the silhouette. 
sometimes people want to be a little more sultry, but not over the top, right? This helps. I don't know if you can see this. There. See how the mesh is cut out? So it's a little sultry, but then covered up, right? It's got a high neck. It's got full sleeves. Sometimes us older girls like that as well to keep our arms covered, or maybe you need to cover up tattoos for a certain event. Um, and a lot of um, cross-dressers and like drag show people will like these higher necks and things because maybe they don't, I don't know, an Adam's apple, a um, maybe not too worried so much about, okay, you get my drift, right? Just trust me, that works. I don't want to like cross a line and not be PC just because I'm trying to like state the facts, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so this will be fine. This will eventually sell $6.99, yay. It's really pretty. It's a nice Ponte fabric on the back. I'll probably put that up for about 50 or 60 and wait for the right person because I know there's going to be someone that wants that design for some of the reasons that I stated. St. John, here was the money maker of that trip. It's unbuttoned, but each of these four buttons is a rhinestone encrusted heart metal. So, St. John, evening. So in the hierarchy of St. John labels, that's pretty good too. Unique sleeves, let me show you. Let me come in and show you the, see even on the sleeve ends has a little heart and some rhinestones. $5.99 if you watch the thrift with me at the thrift store. That's not going to focus. Trust me, it says $5.99. So, and this is their Santana knit. For those of you that are new to clothing or trying to add clothing, this is their Santana knit. After a while of handling enough of it, you kind of almost know it by sight. Every once in a while, you might get fooled by like a Castleberry knit or something like that, but Castleberry knit has some resale value as well. Not as much as a good St. John piece. Uh, I'm going to put this up for, there are quite a few up there. Some Someone has it trying to get $500. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. New, yeah, it was probably, it could have been eight to a thousand dollars. It might have had a skirt or a pair of pants. St. John evening, it might have had a long skirt or even a strapless dress that it went over. Who knows? This is St. John evening. But I think 100 to 200 is pretty reasonable. I don't have the bottom piece. I did peek around extra carefully to see if I could find a matching dress, skirt, pants, you know, slacks that maybe went with it. Something went with it. But someone will still buy this jacket. You can see there are some for sale. There are some sold. I will probably put this up for about 120, 140 take around 90 to 100. So that's going to pay for that trip. It will eventually sell. It is Santana knit. Maybe, you know, we might ha have to wait a little bit, but it, that will eventually sell. Clover Canyon. This is just a fit and flare tunic top, but this is a good label for clothing too. Most of their stuff is a nice digital print. Some of it will be like contrast or mix and match. Um, this is probably $25 to $30, but like their dresses and things can go for a lot more. Clover Canyon. This is in good shape. I always get nervous with white. Thank goodness this is in good shape. It was $5.99. That's a yes, Clover Canyon. Um, cool. You always want to sell cool. Let me show you. You don't know if you're new on clothing. Men's, women's, pants, shorts, tops, whatever. It's like outdoors wear, ski wear, outdoorsy wear. So think of um, more athletic people, athleisure, kind of the crunchy crowd likes this label. I know up in the Colorado mountains, the little ski mountains and outdoorsy, like this cool is very popular brand for sure. Never seen the shorts. These are cute. $5.99 and it was on sale. These are probably worth about, they've got some tactical 
features to them with the zip pockets and whatnot. They will be well engineered too for fit and comfort. So, little hiking shorts for some crunchy girl up in the mountains somewhere. <laughs> so, probably $25. This is not a big label, but, but this tunic, it was a good enough price, $5.99, and the only reason I said yes is because it did come with the matching Palazzo pants, and it's extra large size, 1X, so it did come with the matching, you know, Palazzo pants, so this is a great little vacation resort beach cover-up outfit for someone. Hopefully it's not too late in the season. <laughs> Probably, I don't know, it's probably $25, $30. I love this. I thought maybe it was a gun sack, gunny sack, gun sack. This, but it's good too. This is a Candy Jones, California. So this is a good vintage label too, isn't it? Precious little long prairie gown, hippie girl prairie gown um, with the flutter butterfly sleeves. Oh my gosh. I think I had a dress like this in the 70s when I was a little girl. I'm pretty sure I did. So this dress, I wish it was a little bigger size, but this dress is probably $40 to $50 resale value, I'm pretty sure. What is that? Pin? There's some pin tucking too. This is called uh, pin tuck. And the little flutter butterfly sleeves, right? Got a back zipper. So, candy jumps remember that we're almost done <laughs> don't mess with texas i see a lot of these um i'll buy a few tapestry jackets a few flashback a few um don't mess with texas if everything's good this has like carved buttons how much was it let me tell you that 5.99 i liked this one i liked the pattern of this one so the southwest cactus probably about $30 on that. All right. And then what fell? None of this stuff has been cleaned or the price tags taken off. Harley Davidson swim trucks. Um, I looked through the men's shorts because I'm looking for loud mouth, loud mouth shorts or anything a little bit over $20, $25. So these were Harley Davidson. They say Harley Davidson. They have a dragon they have this plastic emblem on it and the label is nicely still intact so $4.99 and they're a large size probably $25 they're in really good shape so that's why I did these Harley Davidson stuff still sells for me um, the t-shirts are getting kind of harder just your generic little t-shirt if it's not like a 3d emblem or super vintage but some people I feel like are selling them too cheap. I will buy them if they're in good shape or from a really unique place or a, a very popular, um, you know, like destination or dealership. And then, you know, you want to list where they're where it's from as well. And then just be a little patient because some people want to add to their collection or they're like, well, I was there and I forgot to get a t-shirt or I lost my t-shirt or whatever. So I feel like some people sell their Harley Davidson shirts they're a little impatient and you know should probably wait a little bit a couple more things i forgot about these but i just spotted them <laughs> this is an ombre ombre crinkle shirt the reason i did this is probably not worth a whole lot but it is a stetson okay it is a stetson so that country that western wear label is a little bit better um i wouldn't have guessed this for western but it's a stetson so it's really soft and pretty. I like the ombre. I think ombre is still valid. Someone will still want this. I wasn't going to leave a Stetson behind. Probably $20. Um, a pair of Lululemon. I don't, everyone knows the Lululemon by now, right? The Omega. Everyone knows Lululemon by now. Um, the, you can just tell by the quality too, the fabric. So these are kind of like harem joggers. So these are probably 40, 50 bucks, I'm hoping. I'll find out, I'll go get the name of the style to help list those. And just some cute little rompers, skirt rompers, but they were still new with tags. This is a, um, a Volcom, a collab with Volcom. 
and what is this one? I really liked this one. Top Shop. Top Shop stuff is okay. It does okay. Um, it's not like some of the Poshmark girls get all excited about it. It'll do okay. But this was cute. I, I liked the style. It was more unique. This little jumper, right, with all the zippers. So I'm guessing these are probably $20, $25 items. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do the VIA trading unboxing tomorrow or Thursday or Friday at the latest, I promise. VIA trading gave me a coupon code that I can pass on to you guys if you want to try it. So um, today I think I've got to do some household stuff for the rest of the day. I've got to wash the dog, clean the fish aquarium. Uh, let me catch up on some, <laughs> on some housework, okay? Okay, so. If you want to see the Via Trading unboxing, and I'm going to try to share it with some people because I won that. I won that. So it was free. It's like a $300 box full of clothing. So let's see what is in it. Okay. Um, that's all. Look for that. I will talk to you later or see you on one of your videos. <laughs>